Barra Market is an only full independent market in London. Owned by a charitable trust, it is also run by a board of volunteer trustees, which provide a market as a public amenity. Every day, many local workers are buying their lunch, groups of school children are learning about the projects, and most of the London restaurant trades are inspired by the food. Borough Market has made its reputation all the time, as it is one of the most renowned food markets in London. Here, people are coming to connect, share, and awaken their senses. That's the reason why we've been interviewing stars to hear their opinions on the competitiveness of borough markets and the way they approach this busy Christmas period. Last November, Aratu has been interviewing merchants. She has been trying to discover the growth of borough market and how it's changed over time. Okay. Um, the name of the shop is Olivology and we sell uh, Greek, organic Greek uh, foods from uh, uh, the Peloponnese in the south. Our shop name is the Tea to You. We are selling the Darjeeling specialized tea. I import the tea from direct from the garden from India. Uh, we're waiting to have some we sell poultry. Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah, I'm working in the borough market since last six, seven years. Market people and all the customer, you know, and, uh, and, uh, they are very, very good. It's nice to be there, John Famous. Yeah, we're like a little family here. Yeah, it's nice. We got all the boxes around all the stalls, so yeah. <laughs> and we get free stuff. Yeah. Friendly, there's a lot of like camaraderie, everyone helps each other out. It's, it's like a family, really, and everyone sort of just, you know, picks them up. Some of them, some people like, not really, but mm. most of them. I do not so much, but I do a little bit. Oh, yeah, we get different meats, like better meats, like that. Um, then when we do in the summer, we won't, we won't have turkey in the summer, but now it's Christmas, we have like feathers and game and stuff like that. Really, we do like special like Christmas sort of like gift hampers kind of style things, but that's what I really But some people are more competitive than others, so uh, yeah, it depends, I guess. <laughs> well, we're the only ones. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, like, no but we're the cook food. Do you have a cook food there? Yeah, we're in competition with them, but we're the only ones that sell lunch and everything, so we're in competition with them. With an intimate knowledge of the projects, the merchants are working with small businesses and social enterprises. This market has been around since the 13th century, imposing itself as a food reference. Well, the market has changed a lot over the last five years since they did lots of uh, renovation. So we used to be out in the parking uh, two years ago, which was very exposed and uh, wasn't very nice. Now we are under the cover and everything is new and uh, we are not sheltered. No Drastically, they keep on changing is a very good, in not in a bad sense, a good sense. A lot of things I have seen in the borough market and now keep on doing the best things today. Yeah, yeah. Uh, basically 8% or so. I'd say locals are mainly the ones that buy most of the like uh, like take home foods um, okay. because they got something to take it to. Yeah. Um, but then the tourists basically spend a lot of money on like the hot foods and eat now and all that on the side. To conclude, we can say that Borough Market is a trademark place in London Bridge, evolving each year with food from across the world and events honoring this. 
for great atmosphere and bargains, Borough Market is an amazing place to go.